Well, <clears throat> welcome to all participants of Nodicon. Um, it's a really great pleasure to join the Nolina Dynamics community. And I would like to thank the Professor Magar Bonara to organize this conference in this not, not easy time. Uh, Keno Sesho too, the first speaker is Professor Yabuno from the University of Tsukuba. Of course, uh, Professor Yabuno is quite involved in the arena dynamics and with a great attention in control. And the title of the, call, the talk is Application Server Side Oscillations and Weekly Mode Coupling to Ultra Sensitive Microsensors. Please, Professor Yabuno. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the introduction, Professor Besperoni. I'm Hiroshi Abuno. I'm very honored to be given uh, this opportunity, the keynote lecture. Thank you very much, Prof Professor Walter Carbonara. I would like to talk about the uh, application of self-excited oscillation and uh, weekly mode coupling to highly sensitive vibrational sensors. Recently, with uh, MEMS technology progresses, uh, sensing the applications of the micro and nano fabricated or resonant uh, devices have become increasingly attractive due to the highly sensitive detection of small changes in the mechanical parameters of the resonators. In order to achieve the highest possible mass sensitivity, research on fabrication, integration, and dynamics and control of the resonators is pursued. To realize ultra-sensitive sensors, together with the increase of the natural frequency by downsizing the resonators, it is important to uh, propose a new sensitive detection method from the dynamical point of view. So first of all, we briefly show the sensitivity of the mass or stiffness sensing by resonator. Secondly, we show the method to the, to the detect via natural frequency shift and consider the utilization of the self-excited oscillation in viscous measurement environment. Next, we introduce the highly sensitive mass sensing via eigenmode mode shift. The furthermore, we show some experimental results by using macro and micro cantilevers. Finally, we mentioned the concept of the virtual cantilever and the virtual coupling to enhance the sensitivity. Okay, let us consider the a single degree of freedom uh, resonators as figure one. Figure one with mass M and the viscous damping coefficient C and the stiffness uh, K. In the mass, when the mass or stiffness changes by delta M or delta K, respectively, the equation of motion is expressed as equation one. It's a very easy. So delta M can, delta M can be regarded as a measured mass adhered to the resonator. Detection of the delta M leads to the mass sensing, which has been proven useful for chemical and biological uh, applications such as the measuring DNA interaction and detecting proteins and bacteria and so on. The detection of delta K leads to the stiffness sensor and in particular is related to the application to force microscopy as an atomic force microscope, the AFM. AFM uh, determines the surface profiles of the a sample by measuring the variation of the force gradient, force gradient delta K on the resonator. Because the force gradient 
depends on the distance between the res resonator and the sample surface. Accurately uh, detecting delta K gives the uh, high sensitivity and the resolution of the AFM. We consider the sensitivity of the detection toward the mass or stiffness, mass or stiffness perturbation, delta M and delta K. In case with that perturbations, the natural frequency omega zero is exists as equation two. And the uh, natural frequency shift, uh, in the case, uh, natural frequency shift uh, due to the perturbation is expressed as equation four. Okay, therefore the relative sensitivity of the detection by using the natural frequency shift is a fixed B 0 0.5. Next we consider the methods to detect the frequency shift. In general, we produce the resonance to detect the natural frequency and the natural fre frequency shift of the resonator. To this end, we apply the displacement excitation, Xe as in figure two, then equation of, um, equation of motion is expressed as equation six, where omega prime is the natural frequency of the resonator with the perturbation of the mass or stiffness and the gamma is the damping ratio. So the in, in conventional uh, method, the harmonically external excitation is uh, utilized by setting Xe as equation seven where AE and nu is the excitation amplitude and the excitation frequency respectively. In the low damping case, that is small gamma, one can uh, regard the applied uh, excitation frequency nu for the maximum response amplitude as omega prime and can detect the natural frequency and natural frequency shift. However, for the high damping large gamma, the accuracy is degraded because the applied the excitation frequency new for the maximum response amplitude largely deviates from the omega prime as shown in figure three. Furthermore, for higher viscosity, there is no resonance peak in the frequency response curve the so uh, this method cannot be used in this situation, such a situation. The highly accuracy of with this method requires the setting the resonator in a special uh, measuring environment, such as such as an ultra high vacuum to provide a high quality factor. However, this environment is not realistic for sensing the mass or stiffness of a biological sample because it is immersed in a highly viscous liquid. To overcome this difficulty, Q control method is proposed. This method increases the Q factor by compen compensating for the dissipative uh, energy loss using feedback control. Another method is based on the application of self-excited oscillation mentioned below. While source of the harmonically forced excitation is external excitation, the self-excited oscillation is uh, produced uh, depending on the char characteristic of the resonator itself as a negative damping and circulatory forces as, as is well known. I would introduce the self-excited oscillations in the three simple uh, models.
So uh, this is a model of the railway vehicle wheel set. Uh, the running speed is increasing the above a critical speed. You can see the hunting motion. The hunting motion is a kind of self-excited oscillation due to the circular force. And the center uh, video is a uh, fluid conveying pipe. Uh, this is a self-excited oscillation due to the circular turn, as you uh, know very well. And uh, this video, This is a voice coil motor. This is a spring mass damper system. Okay. This is voice coil motor to produce a negative damping force by positive velocity feedback. Uh, this is due to the negative damping. This self-excited self oscillation produced by negative damping. So we consider the utilization of the self-excited oscillation due to the negative damping. Okay, the produce the self-excited uh, oscillation that we apply the velocity feedback as equation, uh, equation eight. Hiroshi, you have to share your screen again. There was a, a loss of connection. You have to share your screen again, please. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay. To produce the self-excited oscillation that we apply the velocity feedback as equation eight. Okay. Then the equation of motion is expressed as equation nine. Equation nine. In case when the gamma equivalent is negative and its magnitude is very small, the response frequency of the self-excited oscillation is desired uh, natural frequency of the resonator. As mentioned before, the relative sensitivity of the detection for the perturbation of the mass or stiffness of the resonator by using frequency shift is fixed to be 0 0.5. In order to increase the sensitivity, we introduce the method using eigenmodal shift. In order to increase sensitivity, the method using the mode shift in a multi degree of freedom coupled resonators have been pro have have been proposed in the past decades. Let us consider a couple of two degree of freedom resonator in the figure four. This is a typical model of the coupled cantilevers where the two resonators have the same mass and the same stiffness K and the delta M is a measured mass and the stiffness uh, Kc is a coupling stiffness. Non-dimensional equation of motion are expressed as equation 10 and 11, where delta, delta is a mass ratio of the measured mass delta M with respect to the mass of the os oscillator M. And the kappa is non-dimensional coupling stiffness, that is the ratio of the coupling stiffness with respect to the stiffness of the resonator. The amplitude ratio in the first mode is expressed as equation uh, 12. In case without measured mass, the amplitude ratio is of course one to one. In case with measured mass, 
the amplitude ratio is calculated to equation 13. Hence, the eigenmode shift is expressed as equation 14. Therefore, because sensitivity is the one over two times kappa, so the setting small kappa, small uh, coupling stiffness realizes high sensitivity. Next, we consider method how to detection uh, eigenmode. Like the detection of the natural frequency, to uh, directly detect the eigenmode without being influenced by viscous environments, we use self-excited oscillation. To this end, we set the displacement excitation Xe equation uh, 15 by velocity feedback of the resonant one. The equation of motion 10 and 11 are changed to equation uh, 16 and 17 respectively. By coordinate transformation so that the stiffness matrix is diagonal, we obtain equation 18, where y1 and y2 are the modal coordinates for the first and the second modes. To produce the self-excited oscillation in the first mode, we calculate the suitable feedback gain beta using perturbation method. Assuming the eigenvalues as equation 20, we estimate delta beta and delta over kappa to be uh, epsilon, the order epsilon as equation 21, so that two of the lambda zero are purely imaginary values for the first mode. Then the other two lambda zero for the second mode are complex conjugate numbers with negative real part. The stability of the first mode is determined by the next order by the analysis of the at order epsilon. The real part of lambda one is analytically expressed as equation 22, where uh, so uh, by setting the feedback gain, the delta beta, so that uh, this part, this real part, uh, lambda one R is positive, we can produce a self-excited oscillation with the first eigen mode. We practically perform the experiments to confirm the possibility that highly sensitive mass sensing based on the eigenmode shift. Figure six uh, is a weakly coupled micro, macro, macro cantilevers. A is the top view of the mass sensing the system. The support point, support point, Support point is actuated by the piezo actuator according to the feedback control with respect to deflection of the cantilever one. B is a side view to near identical cantilevers. One and two are weakly coupled at this, this overhang. We attach a small magnet of the mass 0.056 gram as an added um, mass to cantilever two. First, we try to detect the eigenmode shift in air by conventional method, which uses a free, uh, frequency response curve. The frequency response curve of the cantilevers with and without an added mass are shown in figure seven. Circle and triangle denote the resonance amplitude of the cantilever one and two, uh, respectively. In the case without an added mass, the peak amplitude of the cantilevers one and two are the same, like this. In the case with added mass, the peak amplitudes are very little deviated as this figure. 
Therefore, it is very difficult to uh, detect the eigenmode shift by harmonically forced external excitation in air. Next, we detect the eigenmode shift by self-excitation. This is a time history of the cantilevers, uh, self-excited cantilevers, as uh, shown in the figure eight. Amplitude ratio of cantilevers one and two is 1.17, now, which means that the added mass ratio 3.87 times 10 to minus three induces induced an eigenmode shift of the 0 0.17. This high sensitivity is realized by compensation for the viscous damping in air by self-excitation based on the velocity feedback. The figure nine shows the relationship between the change in the added mass and the eigenmode shift where the ordinate uh, indicates the amplitude ratio and the uh, mass ratio, we can quantitatively clarify the relationship between the change in the added mass and the eigenmode shift. And from this slope of the dashed line, the sensitivity can be estimated as 42 in this experimental system. Comparing the sensitivity by the using natural frequency shift, the sensitivity is significantly improved. Next, moving the, towards the use of the, this method for small mass measurements, we established the self-excited couple of micro cantilevers. Figure 10 is a picture of the coupled micro cantilevers fabricated by etching from an SOI wafer and polystyrene micro sphere to be measured on the tip of the cantilever tube. Polystyrene micro sphere is a 1.855 nanogram and the mass ratio is a 10 to minus three, approximately. Weekly coupling is realized that this overhang. The, in this experiment, we produced a self-excited oscillation with a small steady state amplitude, uh, that is with a linear mode. To this end, we realized the nonlinear dynamics of the Rayleigh oscillator in the coupled cantilevers by applying the nonlinear feedback in addition, nonlinear feedback in addition to the linear feedback as equation 22. It's okay? Okay. The left figure is an optical image of the experimental system. The velocity of the country level one is measured using the laser Doppler vibrometer and transferred to the elect electrical, electrical circuit, which achieves the linear plus nonlinear feedback control. The right figure is a picture of the experimental setup with the laser Doppler vibrometer. The natural frequency of the micro cantilever is 55 kilohertz. The figure 12 is the time histories and, and a, a spectrum analysis of the self-excited cantilevers in air. In case of uh, no additional mass, the amplitude ratio is one, one to one. The figure 13 is a case when the microsphere of 1.8 nanogram, uh, the amplitude ratio is one to 1.2. 20, uh, 1 uh, 0 0.6 percent increase of the mass in, induced an eigenmode shift of the 23 percent. 23 percent. On the other hand, the natural frequency, frequency shift in the conventional method was only 0 0.2 percent.
Mass measurements in the liquid environment are conducted after filling the acrylic case with water. Figure, uh, figure A is a, a, a picture of the mass sensing system. Uh, this figure is an enlarged view of the acrylic case because it is difficult to fix the micro bees on the tip of the cantilever too in the previous uh, experiment because it is in the water. So now uh, we measure the masses of the arch shaped structures as shown in figure B. The structure was 3D micro printed, uh, micro printed uh, laser lithography system on the tip of the cantilever too. The mass of each structure was 2.48 nanogram. We removed the uh, arch uh, shaped uh, structure one by one using a needle uh, and uh, the measure the amplitude ratio of the country levels. Figure 14 is a frequency response curve and a conventional external excitation. Because there are many spurious peaks uh, due to the viscosity of the measurement environment, it is not possible to detect a natural frequency or eigen mode. On the other hand, figure 15 shows the uh, first Fourier transform analysis of the self excited oscillation. The vertical and the horizontal axis uh, indicates the amplitude and the response frequency of the coupled cantilevers respectively. It is confirmed that the coupled cantilevers are self-excited with a single uh, frequency, which is corresponding to the first natural frequency. Figure 16 shows the measurement result of the each arch shaped uh, structure in the water. The measured mass is in good agreement with the uh, nominal value. As mentioned before, the essence of the method based on eigen mode shift is that two res resonators are identical and the two resonators are weakly coupled. However, in the practical track practical couple country levels, uh, their requirements that cannot be satisfied completely because of the limitation of the machining accuracy. To realize the advantage of the, this method fully, we propose the concept of the virtual country level and the virtual coupling. In these concepts, uh, one of the Real cantilever is replaced the virtual cantilever and which is then the virtually, virtually coupled with the remaining real cantilever. The virtual cantilever dynamics and the coupling's effect on the real cantilever are calculated uh, in real time using the, a digital computer. In this system, we can adjust the physical parameters of the virtual cantilever and uh, tune the virtual coupling stiffness to be low in the digital scheme. These are the equation of motion. Cantilever one is a virtual and X one is uh, calculated in the real time in the computer. Because the uh, displacement X2 of the real cantilever 2 can be measured by sensor. Using these values, we calculate delta XC in real time. And using the results, we excite the real cantilever like this. Then uh, equation 25 is equivalent to the equation. 24. Figure 
uh, 18 shows the experimentally obtained the relationship between the amplitude ratio and the mass ratio. In case without uh, virtual uh, cantilever, coupling stiffness cannot be uh, said to be so small, not so small. Uh, it was 10 to minus two. Then the sensitivity 42 as mentioned before. On the other hand, in case with virtual cantilever, we can set the coupling stiffness to be 10 to minus three and the sensitivity become much higher, uh, 300. To apply the method using the virtual cantilever and the virtual coupling to micro cantilevers, high speed computer is essential uh, as like the FPGA. So I'd like uh, to summarize my talk. I picked up the uh, utilization of self-excited oscillation as an excitation method because self-excitation co compensates for the viscosity in the measurement environments. It can detect uh, natural frequency shift and also the eigenmode shift, even in liquid environment. Also, I had uh, introduced the method based on the eigenmode shift uh, in coupled cantilevers, which can improve the sensitivity by several orders of the magnitude compared uh, to using natural frequency shift. This is an application of mode localization phenomena in coupled uh, resonator, resonators. Three or more degree of freedom coupled oscillators are proposed to achieve the much higher sensitivity in the sensor. Such enhancement can bring new opportunity and uh, applications of resonators. Okay, thank you very much for kind your attention. Thank you very much, Professor Yebuno, for this is an interesting presentation. I noticed that uh, we have uh, one, uh, one, one question. Can you, can you look at the question, Yabuno? So um, Dr. Alnimi is asking, a very interesting talk, is asking whether you can build such a sensor consisting of a cantilever beam coupled with a fixed fixed beam and use the change in eigenmode as a detection mechanism. What would happen for the sensitivity? I, I think the I think the method is not changed uh, for the fixed fixed beam. I don't think uh, it changed. Uh, 